Hey guys, it's General Heed here. How's everyone doing today? So, for today's video, we are doing another weapons comparison, and this time we'll be tackling the DMR, first introduced in Halo Reach. Now, the DMR hasn't been in too many Halo games, uh, and unfortunately, because we can't compare Halo 5, as you all should know by now, we only have two games that we can actually compare with the DMR. <laughs> uh, so, in other words, we'll only be comparing Halo Reach and Halo 4. So we're going to be seeing which of those two games has the better DMR, because those are the only two Halo games that we can compare that do have DMRs. So when Halo Reach first came out, the DMR was more or less kind of like a... Uh, it basically replaced the battle rifle, because there was no battle rifle in, um, in Halo Reach. Uh, now Halo 4 did have both the battle rifle and DMR, and personally I feel like the DMR was a little more rare because uh, the battle rifle exists, but that's just my perspective. I don't know if that's... I don't have any statistics to back that up. Uh, but anyways, like I said, only two games have the DMRs, so let's get right into the comparison. And of course, we'll be comparing the objective st stats from the uh, game files, starting with Halo Reach, the first game to have the DMR. So, with Halo Reach's DMR, according to the specs, it has a max range of 250, uh, now I usually say meters, but these are actually world units, but I don't know exactly what the difference is between meters and world units. But anyways, it has a max range of 250, velocity of 3000, damage of 17.5, and it can fire up to 3 rounds per second. And the time it takes to, uh, between shots is 0.33 seconds, and it has a bloom decay rate of 1.428571 basically 1.43 if you want to round it up, uh, up to that. So that is our baseline DMR. Uh, it's pretty good actually. Its velocity is pretty high for a lot of reach weapons comparatively and the damage is pretty decent and so is the range. What about Halo 4 though? So Halo 4, technically Halo 4 has two DMRs in it. It actually still has the Halo Reach DMR hidden in the game files but we're not comparing that because that's the Halo Reach DMR. But anyways, the Halo 4 DMR has a lot of visual changes to it, uh, but overall it pretty much functions the same as Halo Reach's DMR. Uh, doesn't have any like new crazy features uh, aside from like the cosmetic changes. But what about its specs? Usually Halo 4 weapons have like crazy range of velocity, but in this case, <laughs> this might look familiar to you because the max range is also 250, the same as Halo Reach. Velocity is also 3,000, same as Halo Reach. The damage is also the same as Halo Reach, means 17.5. So those base, those three base specs are exactly the same as Halo Reach. Same range, same velocity, same damage. Now for the nitty gritty specs. Its rounds per second is slightly uh, higher than Halo Reach's. 3.125 rounds per second compared to Halo Reach's three rounds per second. And then 0.32 seconds between shots and a bloom decay of 1.538462. <laughs> so, what does this all mean? Which Halo game has the best um, DMR? Well, it's like I said, space specs are the exact same as Halo Reach's. So, you know, like range, velocity, and damage. None of those have changed. But it has a very slightly faster fire rate than Halo Reaches, and the time between shots is also 0.01 seconds faster than Halo Reaches. So you can fire bullets slightly quicker <laughs> than Halo Reach, just ever so slightly. And the bloom decay uh, decays at a faster rate of 0.1 uh, second faster rate. I guess I don't know the exact units, but it's 0.1 faster than Halo Reaches, which means your bloom de also decreases faster. So overall, uh, you know, base specs are the same, but the DMR in Halo 4 is, I guess, slightly faster, and because the bloom decays faster, it's uh, also slightly more accurate. I guess. <laughs> um, but the difference is so like minuscule between the two that most people probably won't ever notice a difference between them. It um, it's just 
not much difference. They're almost identical. It's just, I don't know, I, I guess for Halo 4, they, they changed like numbers by like a s tiny decimal place, by like 0 0.01, just to say like they changed something. Uh, but I, I don't know if that's the case. Maybe the DMR was just balanced enough that they didn't need to change it in Halo 4. But who knows? But yeah, so there you guys have it. Halo 4's DMR is the best of all the Halo games that we can compare. Uh, hopefully you guys did find this comparison to be interesting, and if you did enjoy this, make sure to leave a like. Uh, leave your thoughts in the comments, let me know what you'd like me to compare next. We've definitely gone through a lot of stuff already, but there's still more we can compare, so let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to get around to it pretty soon. But other than that, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all next time. Bye guys!